focus. It's getting inside the dog's mind through his eyes. The eyes tell all. If you can hold the dog's attention out in the field, when you hit that whistle stop, the dog's looking at you, staring at you, then breathlessly, that's what we want to see. 1001, 1002, 1003, then make your cast. So what we're looking for right here with Deke, the DU dog, is that he will hold his focus on my eyes until I give him his command. How do we achieve this? It's easy. You start off with your pup, quite young, using his name before any command. That is, name preceding all command. It's Deke heel, Deke sit, Deke stay. If I get say his name, Deke, good boy. He gives me his eyes. We hold it increasingly longer. Now with a young dog that we're going to show you with India, it's going to be very, very brief. And then we cut and start moving longer and longer. Little increment steps, half seconds at a time. And before long, you'll have an eye contact just like Deke, the DU dog. Deke, heel. Watch Deke's focus. He watches every move I make. His eyes are here. He shouldn't be smelling the ground, sniffing. If I back away, he's watching. If I move forward, he's watching. It's eye contact, it's concentration, and it's sheathed through the eyes. Okay, let's put the concept together. This is Indian, 13 weeks old, Deke's little cousin. I'm gonna try to achieve eye contact just for a brief second before I give the command. Remember the rule, eye contact, then the command. So it's gonna be Indian, hold it briefly just for a few seconds, then give the command. So let's give it a try. Indian, heel. Indian, sit. Good boy. Indian, heel. Indian, sit. Good boy. Only briefly at first you're going to achieve this. Then you want to go from two seconds to three seconds, like with Deep, where you had a, just a dead stare. Later, when you hit that whistle, you'll have a dog that will turn, slam down, focus on you, and you can give a real effective hand signal. Indian, heel.